What's going on everybody? My name is Tiffany and this is a showcase of a Wi-Fi connectivity map presented by GeoServed. We can just exit out of this window. Be able to see that uh, with the weather improving, I asked myself where I can study outside with reliable network, uh, especially via wireless. And uh, from there, I decided to just make a map, you know, a question of why not. Uh, so one weekend in Arizona Tea Later, I made this. I've been really getting into ArcGIS Online and lately figured it would be a nifty development for GeoServed. So let's check it out. Here are some of the points I've collected thus far with my cell phone. I've designed an uh, integrated API that takes into account a speed test and this mapping information as well as uploading to a server dynamically. So these are live points that are in that particular uh, database that you're seeing. But again, like I said, the question was just a matter of, you know, the weather is so nice, where can I do my homework on campus without being bothered by uh, lack of bandwidth? And the uh, IT department does a very great job of providing internet uh, to everybody in their uh, projects here on campus. But like I said, I just wanted to find out where would be the best place. Uh, you know, maybe you want to study out in the middle of nowhere in your hammock. So, let's see. As I said, all this stuff is user generated, so these are user reported speeds. Keep in mind that these speeds are user reported and are used by, you know, as much technology as your phone or your laptop has. None of these points are industry, uh, or excuse me, are engineering grade or, you know, within a certain range. So don't, you know, it's not directly on that point, but that's a pretty good fair chance where that is. So, and also these, these heat circles are just generated from ArcGIS online and as precise as it, those can get. So like I said, this is just a representation. If you need more information, all that's in this nifty disclaimer that I have. But let's get back to that speed test. So with this speed test, you're allowed to come across some of the, the attributes that might be important to someone testing internet speeds. But let's go ahead and just run a test. You can also do this on your cell phone. I got a page that is designed just for the cell phone to do this as long as you're connected to the Wi-Fi and be sure to be connected to the Wi-Fi or the Wi-Fi or you're gonna get some nasty points over here that I gotta edit out eventually because none of these points have anything to do with WKU Wi-Fi these are all 4G from AT&T or your service provider but anywho we're gonna come back here later today we're going to collect more points so later in the day you'll see more points downhill then uphill, uh, you know, as far as uphill being more academic. But I'm going to get some more points here this afternoon uh, with a buddy of mine. And we're going to see how that works out. But like I said, all these points are user generated. And we're just waiting for a progress test, as you see. And from where we are right now, we have a download speed and upload speed that's decent enough to do a video like this, but not decent enough for me to take a test on Blackboard. I wouldn't rely on taking a Blackboard test at 0.27 megabits per second. But I wanted to tell uphill or downhill or the IT department, you know, about these things and when they're troubleshooting. I can simply just, you know, let them know my location. And like I said, at this point, no one knows your location. This is you getting information about your location, about your speeds. All this is private information. This information is not shared. And nothing about your phone or your technology or anything like that is ever shared. This is just information that's gathered from your computer. Your computer has to allow for that to happen with HTML5 it has to allow for geolocation to be recorded so right now like I said this right here is just information to you however if you want to report this or see your point on the map to help others out then you would simply submit the test and doop -ba -doop -ba -doop -ba -doop -ba -doop. online might have gone out nope maybe not you submit the test there we go uh, and the record is added now, granted, I'm not going to show you where I am right now because it's definitely not anywhere near within this range. But I can tell you right now that record is added and you'll be definitely soon to see some points down here. So if you want to be a part of this, just go to uh, wkugiscience.club slash geoserve slash net survey slash test my Wi-Fi. And you'll be able to add in your points as well from your phone. But with that, thanks you guys for checking in and hopefully check back to see some of the results we have from our map. Thanks.